So it wasn't until I was just in my character loadout that I just realized how awesome our offhand looks. Look at this thing. That uh, glowy book. That's awesome looking. I don't know. I get like so. That's like something that would be like a. I don't know. You want to call it um, like raid gear stuff in uh, vanilla WoW, like in terms of how it looks. But what is that again? The Tome of Knowledge. Tomb. Tome. Tome of Knowledge. Okay. So we're here in Searing Gorge once again, and we've, uh, what do we gotta do? What do we gotta do? We've got a lot we can do. Ooh, that's a cool mount. Um, I kind of want to... Hmm. Flimstar Post. <coughs> Where's that? Oh, Burning Steps, got it, yeah. And Burning Steps is what level zone? Uh, 49. So we could go to Burning Steps next. Yeah. We'll spend uh, maybe like a, a, an episode or so here, probably. Um, killing these spiders seems kind of boring, since they're like right here. I feel like we might as well do it. I need a soul stone up, don't I? Those, yeah, the spiders are super easy to kill, so I'm not supposed to do it while we're here. Da -da -da. Um, and I think this should be just all along here, maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Okay, bag space looking good. Well, you know what I will do? I might. Yeah, I see. We got our little uh, s tall strider? Spring strider out. Ah. So this area looks familiar, so there's always spiders around here, there were always uh, these heavy, heavy war golems, heavy war golems, they were always here, and I think they were always around this level. These guys are different. Inferno elementals, they never were here, I think they might have just been fire elementals before, uh, yeah, like your standard fire elemental. But this, this area looks really familiar so far, like, more so than any other, more so than any other, I don't know, spot so far in... Cataclysm well, or whatever you want to call it. Um, need seven more spiders. These spiders, I thought we'd see more of them right around here. But now there's not so many as I was expecting. Sure, let's gather some herbs. I always forget we get experience for uh, mineral nodes and stuff. Like, I, I just don't like think about that. Oh, so greater, uh, greater, greater lava spiders do count towards lava spider kills, and I guess I probably killed the field already. Just wasn't paying attention, but that's good to know. Uh, so we'll wrap this up. We'll go turn it in. We'll head back up to the room point, turn that in, and then we will move uh, these guys say, over here. Those little uh, blazing elementals. That's a, um, what I'm used to seeing out here, actually. It's a little weird seeing those. Uh, what are those? Magma elementals. It's kind of weird seeing those. They just look funny. <coughs> well, I'm sorry. So I got those like early morning allergies. Like I wake up and I'm just kind of like sneezy a little bit and a little stuffy. Um, sometimes a little bit of like a cough. Super annoying and like so minor. That is like the thing to do about it. I guess I could take like, like an antihistamine or something might help. Like a Zyrtec or a... Uh, Allegra, is that the But usually, it lasts for like a week, and then it goes away. So, I never lose a lot of sleep over it. Like, literally don't lose any sleep, but I also don't mess with anything to deal with my allergies. Uh, and usually by like an hour or two after getting up, they feel, I feel a lot better, but it's like 5 in the morning or something right now. So, I mean, it's uh super freaking early still. And I always, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people kind of sometimes, you know, you wake up and you feel a little groggy or uh, not perfect in like an hour, get up, shower, have some breakfast, to feel a lot better. Why did I like get 60 mineral, 60 experience for mining that, but I got like 1500 for that sun grass. Are herbs always just like significantly more experience or is it because it was like the first time I'd ever harvested sun grass maybe? I don't, cause I don't know if I've ever actually looted or herbed up sun grass before. Hmm. 
Interesting. I'll have to keep that in mind. I'm gonna, I'll keep an eye out for more herbs and see what I get when I pick them up. Makes me wonder where like a black lotus would get you. Because that stuff used to be worth... Well, it wasn't... That stuff was worth a lot in the auction house, but I am, imagine because it's so rare it would be worth a lot uh, of experience too, right? It should be. I guess I don't know for sure. Alright, greater... I keep saying greater. Greater lava spiders are dead. Wrapped that up. We're gonna turn that in. It's kind of a really kind of a boring quest. I think it's like a super classic WoW quest. WoW quest, in which you uh, basically just grind out nine mobs. I mean, that's like in general when I think of World of Warcraft quests, that's like the first quest that comes to mind is kill X amount of mobs. <laughs> Let's try this again. 750. So I bet that was like a one-time thing because that's the first time I maybe ever herbed it up. So what about this fire bloom? 270. Okay. I mean, it's still a lot of experience. Honestly, 750 experience is... Uh, let's see. It's like a half a percentage. A little more than half a percent of the entire level. That's pretty substantial for just like literally herbalizing. So, I'm happy with that. Uh, this little hole here, I always hated falling on this thing. There's like a little ledge you can, yeah, you can jump on this little thing here, and then you can like jump over to that thing there, and you can fall down without taking any fall damage. It's pretty nice, actually. Um, there's a couple times where I was like auto-running and not paying attention, and I would definitely fall, I'd actually like, fall down that hole. That always sucked. And on the other hand, that hole was nice because there was like some underground areas down there that you would, um, do, do, like a lot of like kind of like dark iron dwarves down there, and it was generally more efficient to fall that hole to get to them, or if you died, you get to your corpse a little easier. I falling through there. Here they are. Walk with you. Okay, so that was a single quest that was kind of extremely non-interesting. Like that was it. That was like the entire quest line, apparently. So. Uh, I'm not really sure that was worth doing, but eh, it is what it is. Now over here in the quest in the group finder, what do we? Let's let's see. So we did 1500, 750. Okay, 750 again. That's cool. Uh, we're probably up for what I would call undead strat at this point. So let's find a group for undead strat because it's a really cool. Seeing undead strat would be kind of nice, I think. It'd be kind of fun. I mean, live strat was way different, I thought. At least, like, it was still the same layout, roughly. But the major difference was with just the mobs themselves being, you know, undead instead of live. That mage is riding a bear, I think. That was cool. I am going to need to blow my nose again because, oh my gosh, these morning this morning like stuff going on is killing me okay so that is like a million times better um we need to get 15 tempered flywheels which i guess come from these tempered war golems which probably makes a lot of sense so we will uh start blowing these guys up they apparently have a good drop rate. We just got four from one of these guys and three from that. I was thinking that. I was like, man, if they kill 15, I think it's a lot. Um, nope, apparently not. Apparently, the drop rate's super good. And then what do these guys have? Dark Iron Geologist or Watchman Slain. Okay. Gravius. Whoa. <laughs> uh, what did they guys throw at me? It didn't really do much, but it's kind of funny looking. Uh, yeah, that guy just rushed me hard. Like, super hard. <laughs> On the bright side, these guys all die pretty fast. I mean, we're, we're like nuking these things. Uh, which is nice. I appreciate the uh, ease in which all these mobs are dying. We just got, like, so much good stuff. Man, those guys are... I think that guy's new, like, Grievous, what's this guy's name? Gravius 
Grimsilt? I don't think that guy was there ever before. I think he's new. Um, I don't remember him anyway. He might he might have been here, but I, I don't remember what he... I just remember him being around. Um, we still have to kill more geologists, etc, etc, but we did get the... What, what was it? Uh, the Dark Iron Memo, so... Gravy, I started to to redouble your efforts. The scope for a project has just expanded several fold, okay. Dig Boss Din Whisker. Huh. Interesting, okay. I don't know. Why, I mean, one of those. So, this guy here, um. Maltorius? And they, they sell. Are those from things that are in level. are in Blackheart Depths? I think they might be. I just got a congrats from, uh, Gildy on dinging at level 50. <laughs> Which is cool. So we actually get a new spell. Summon Doom Guard. How does that work? Summon the Doom Guard from a second to assault the target with its bolts. Um. Doom Guards are much different this time than they used to be. Like, like, these are much different mobs to our demons than in, uh, Vanilla. And vanilla Doom Guards, I never actually really used the Doom Guard in Vanilla, to be fair. But I feel like you could keep them around indefinitely, but they would, like, occasionally break free and start attacking the people or be, be problems. I forget. Um, there's something, they weren't, like, the easiest. You couldn't just have them out all the time in the way you could, like, an imp. But I'm not, I don't remember exactly how Doom Guards work in Vanilla, because... So my warlock, my vanilla warlock, hit 60 with them, but I never ever trained summon doom guard for whatever reason. Oh wow, you can mine these guys. <laughs> yeah, probably not worth it. I <laughs> get like junk from that. I'm not gonna go back and find them all to mine all of them. There's grievous grim, grim salt again. He's back. Yeah, I, was, I just noticed I could mine those guys. Like, oh, that's interesting. Good to know. How are you doing? We've been in queue for five minutes, and I have no one else. No, no, we have DPS in queue with us. Good. That's, I mean, kind of standard, but it's good. All right, Lunk. Oh, poor Lunk. <laughs> Lunk does not like me because I killed too many people. Um, see you, Lunk. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, he's out here talking. Why do you do that? Why do you kill? Lunk tired of all the killing. Lunk quits. Lunk going to find some real adventures. I wonder where Lunk goes. We'll probably see him again. Okay, we gotta get some spider venom. Let's see, over here, Maltorius. We're quick familiar with him and his work. What's this? The Archduke? That sounds promising. It does. Ah, oh, there's Dig Boss Din Whisker. We're just talking about him. Kill excavators and footmen from the cauldron until this guy appears and slay him. Okay. Um, uh, if you were the better. Okay. Oh, well, I just heard killing those guys. Out of place. The gorge is an unforgiving place. We don't get a whole lot of fuzzy wildlife wandering around here. <laughs> Collect some ash chickens. Okay, we saw some of those. Lumbering relic. Like, this guy's in the bottom right. I don't remember Margol. He's in the southeast of the zone. Um, let's vendor off a few things. Is that all an upgrade? Not really. That's good. So, this guy's down way here in the bottom right. Margol is like... Is it Margol? Is that his name? Margol? Margol is by far one of the most obscure mobs in the game, I think. Like, I have played well. I've been a little lot. And I never encountered him until my most recent vanilla... My most recent vanilla WoW playthrough. Oh. We can seven glass of spiders so I can ride them. Huh. Okay. I kind of need to kill them, though, for their venom. But we found Luck again. I, I had a feeling we might see him again. He's, you know, kind of cute. Okay, is this weakened weak enough? <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Spider tummy time. That is super counterproductive to what I need to do here, Lunk, but I guess we can allow it. There's an ash chicken. I guess we just loot him. How do I just get two glass web venom? Oh, Lunk says, here, I got you this. Nice. That's cool. Lunk making things happen. That's nice. So he handed me two glass web venoms. That actually, I was going to say, like, it seems... I see. I was thinking that. I was like, how am I going to do both these quests at the same time? If, like, it's just, like, fin I was thinking I have to, like, let R Lunk ride on a bunch of them first. And then after that, I could, uh... I'd have to kill the ones I need to kill. But as it turns out, Lunk is going to ride on them, collect the venom, and just do some general weirdness. Alright, 7 of 14. Good stuff, Lunk. I can accept that. I can... I can be down for that. It's still like the weirdest quest. Get him, Lunk. <laughs> they really did some goofy things. Not like bad, just goofy things. In, uh, with the Cataclysm quest. I like it. I can, I can definitely be on board with riding spiders on your tummy. Although, <laughs> God, that looks so funny. Ogres are definitely one of the best, like, races in WoW, right? Is that the same spider? We're like traumatizing these spiders, for sure. I gotta be careful, like, I can't summon all my demons, or I feel like they might, like, kill the spider before Lunk rides on top. Like, I feel like I have to just kind of let them get slowly weakened by my one demon here, but yeah, we'll see. And we've only got one more. We're almost done. So just do like kill this or weaken this last one. Get him, Lunk. Get him. And then uh, this will be the last one for Lunk. And this will also give us our last venom we need. Done. Okay, complete. Thanks, Lunk. <laughs> and then what? Where are the ash chickens at? There they are. I hadn't seen very many yet, you know? It's like that one, and I missed. I probably wasn't paying attention, but... I had noticed these guys earlier. Like, I remember seeing these things when we first got to the zone at the end of yesterday's episode. And... That I, just, I have a pet that's a... In fact... We haven't summoned a pet in a while. Let's uh, pull a pet out. Anyway, yeah, I'd seen them. Well, we do have an ash chicken as one of our pets someone gave me. But I hadn't really... used it much. Let's fear this guy away. Oh, he killed it. They're killing the chickens. That's messed up. Well, now that we're down here, we will, like I said, a chicken over here. We're gonna go get the uh, horn we need. Anyway, so what I was saying is this, this uh, little guy's horn, not little guy, big guy's horn, he's not really, like, I feel like he's not a well-known mob, and he's kind of in a weirdly isolated spot. Um, so, like, I didn't know about him. I played, I leveled a bunch of characters to 16 vanilla well. I had never seen this guy, but I recall until like a month ago on my most recent playthrough on my uh, Vanilla Warlock. So I don't know, maybe he's well known, I just missed him. Or maybe it's like some alliance related quest and I just never do alliance stuff enough to like pay, pay attention, but yeah. So here's this guy, Margol the Rager. I feel like Lunk's gonna pop in and be like, what are you doing? But we'll see. I don't see him yet, it's kind of too late. There's sometimes a treasure chest, I think, in this cave, though. Like, the one time I remember being over here, I thought there was a chest. No chest? Not even a mineral node? Sad. Alright, so we need... Uh, more ash chickens. Ash chicken sounds like... Ass kicking. Right? It does. I'm positive. So, three more chickens, and then I guess we could go work on... How's our Q looking? Still missing a healer and a tank? That's pretty standard, though. There's a chicken. How much health these chickens have? I like 2,000 health. They have a lot. I'm surprised that spider killed it so easily. Uh, what I need to do then is work on the Dark Ember quest. The Dark Ember quest, I don't, I'm gonna have to go like down into the cauldron. I'm, I'm pretty sure we have to. 
So it makes me wonder if I shouldn't, like, just turn in these quests since I'm kind of up here anyway. And then once I turn these in, then go down into the cauldron. The cauldron's, like, not that, that terrible of a place, but it's a little annoying. It's just because there's a lot of, um, what do you want to call it? There's a lot of, uh... What do you, uh, geometry, I'm going to use the word, where, like, it's deep and it's hard to get out of it easily. So there's only a couple of ramps up, if I remember right, one on each side. So it's like, I don't want to get stuck down there. Okay. Watch your back. Talk to me. Okay. Safe travel. Well, no follow-ups on those, it's fine. Uh, where do we get anything upgradable? That's probably an upgrade. Two stamina, two intellect, one armor, minus one versatility. Cloak is not. Okay. Cool. So, into the cauldron itself. And I, I don't think this is actually in, like, underground. I think the cauldron is just the area outside, like, this open slag pit thing. But I don't quite remember. We also need to get our soul stone back. Discover the cauldron. Yeah, okay. Cauldron's outside. We're good. Um, the reason why I was thinking about a soul stone too is like, oh, I'm gonna fall down here and die probably, so I should have a soul stone. That makes life so much easier. And I guess this this Mo Moten Flame Star quest is kind of where we'll go next. Like once we finish up three more quests here in uh, Searing Gorge, then I think we can head south into Burning Steps and do maybe a few quests there. Not a lot, because honestly. There aren't. But we're leveling up fast enough that we are kind of skipping we're skipping a lot of content, obviously. Um, okay, I think this is the area I need to kill like footmen and all that, right? This looks good. I was like, where who are these guys? Oh, yeah, it's like duh. <laughs> I was like, I just summoned some mobs out of thin air. Nope, not quite. Let me double check the quest before I spend a lot of time here. Uh, until Excavators and footmen. Okay. I'm guessing I have to kill like five or six of them. I, I bet it's like some set amount or like a range that's pretty tight range, like four to seven or something. Altogether, it should go fast. Heavy war stuff. That's worth a lot. Yeah, I was going to say that's about a gold, which doesn't probably sound like a lot to most of you, but that's a lot of gold. That's a lot of uh, silver, I guess I should say. In uh, vanilla, I would be super thankful for picking up something like that. Um, yeah, I wonder how much it takes to get this guy to summon. Or if it's like a specific one I need to kill or something. I mean, we haven't killed that many yet, but I was thinking that like, by the time we kill five, which I think we've killed five now, there'd be a good chance of him being summoned, so. Let's, uh, do this. Let's try and summon more, like, aggro more of these if I can. You know, maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to like round up a bunch of these guys and then um, drop my imps on them. Because the imps seem to do a lot of good AoE damage. I mean, we know that already. Maybe that's what needs to happen. That bomb is awesome. It's a really cool effect. Okay, we just like massacred this whole area. Why? Why is he not here yet? Um, let me make sure he's right. Okay. Okay, it just says if we slay enough his men, he'll be forced to deal with us, so let's do that. Might have a terrible feeling that like as soon as we summon him, someone's gonna come and kill him before we even get a chance to. Inferno Elemental. Those are so cool looking. Yeah, I don't that that model, like in general, the Inferno Elemental, that was not that's like a new character model. It like didn't exist. To my knowledge, uh, in vanilla at all, I just that was just, it's a whole new model. And there's not a lot of whole new models, like, honestly. Most of this Kalimdor and Eastern Kingdoms content has been pretty um, like using the same character models that have always existed. I wonder if I need to get closer to this area and f and kill more mobs over there. Like maybe this is not close enough to that spot. Um, I guess we'll find out in a moment. Let's go ahead and loot these up, and then I'll head back to the kind of west of here. Loot, loot, loot. 
Uh, I've mentioned this a million times by now, but I love being able to loot more than one mob at a time. Like, just like by proximity looting things. I think that is... I don't know when they added that. People have told me, but I forget. That's gotta be one of the best things that's ever happened in WoW. Oh, hey, he's up. I don't know how long he's been here, but... Um, oh. Uh, I just saw him yell down here. What in hell's name is going on out here? So you're the one causing all that ruckus. Yes, it is me. Super luck. The warden. The lowly level 50 warden. Well, he dropped his uh, dark amber. Dark ember. <laughs> and out we go. So, there's one path up here, and then one down here. Those paths used to never be marked on the map, by the way. Like, they were, you could kind of tell they were there, but they weren't like that nice dotted trail that you see. And there should be like elevators along this north side, and I think you can get out of through those elevators. Oh, they used to be able to. Um, I think. I'm not gonna go spend a lot of time looking over there. Now we just need a healer. That'd be nice timing if we go turn in this quest, and then, um, honestly, like, we're like a done in this zone, it seems like. Unless there's a follow-up here, which I'm pretty sure there will be. What can I do for you? Dark Ember. Yep. Port over Seer Oil Fist at Thorium Point in Searing Gorge. Save. Okay, uh, well, let's, let's, let's do this. I have a better idea. Instead of going, running all the way up here, which isn't that much longer, I want to run here to Iron Summit and see if there's any quests, first of all. And also, I'll just fly from there up to Thorium Point. It's like the shortest flight on Earth. Uh, and turn in there. I will say, uh, so let me tell you something. First of all, these towers up here, is it these towers? Yes, there's four towers. You see these uh, on the map, one here, one straight ahead of us, one down here, one top left. Uh, those used to be guarded by elite mobs, and there was a quest called, like, you would like, light little torches on each of those towers. It was actually a pretty... Where's the, uh, flight point? Oh, here we go. Pretty tough quest, but it, it was... It was a quest that existed, and it was tough, and I, I remember doing it on my rogue a lot, because I could stealth, and that made it so easy. Like, I would just stealth by all the elite mobs, and just go light the torches, and then just vanish, or whatever. Um, that was super easy, but now, it actually here's a good chance to look down here. This looks identical. This cave was here, there used to be an elite mob in there with, like, a gnome, and it's, like, mecha strider, I think. They were elite, they were tough to kill, they were for a quest. Um, yes, yeah, Searing Gorge really survived the wrath of Deathwing without much happening to it. I mean, it really looks pretty much the same, but it really does. Still waiting on our healer. But it's okay. We got a cool book. And I got a quest to turn in. A complete quest. Rush a crack. Based on this information you've delivered, I believe that one of this Archduke's minions may have turned inside towards the wrong point. In Russia, cracks. Cursors are binding. Very good. Okay, so we're not totally done here, and I got a follow-up or another quest popped open. A couple quests. Interesting. You got my attention. Find and return the smithing to your and look out spyglass. Bit. That quest is another quest. Kill war golems. Obtain ten filled furnace flasks. You must use the furnace flask on living elementals. Huh. Okay, that makes more sense. I was thinking, I was like, how are we done with all the all the quests already? And now I understand why we just needed to finish that quest line off to the east, and that would send us to uh, here, which would then open up a bunch of quests for us. So, got it. Let's go kill Rush Crack, because he is... Oh, this guy can drop. So there's Steam Smiths, and there's also like Lookouts, if you're literally just called Lookouts, I think. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can get our little thing here. Nope. And the drop rates on these were never super high in vanilla, but they were, this was never a particularly difficult quest in terms of drop rate. The hardest part was maybe finding mobs you needed. Okay, well, our good buddy Lunk is back. Uh, let's go ahead and kill some more golems while we're here. We have a lot of quests that are kind of densely packed, which is kind of nice. Well, I want to still just go straight ahead and kill this other one.
that guy is immune to life drain, which probably makes a lot of sense. I think this is ration crack. Nope, magma elemental. Um, so how do we do this? We need to fill the flask furnace on this thing. Um, wow, well, that guy just, like, snagged all my stuff. That's sad. I just was like, oh, okay. Well, there's Rasha Crack. Okay, let's get him. I was like, there he is. That's, that's the guy I was looking for. <laughs> that's all I really cared about. These other guys, whatever. You know, it is what it is. But this is the guy I needed. <laughs> Monk keeps telling me to stop killing things down here in chat. It's like, stop killing. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Steam Smith. So are these the ones that Lunk wants me to weaken? Dark Iron seems to put to sleep. Yes. Okay. Oh no, our demon, our demon just got wrecked. All right, Lunk, do your job. Good job. Good job. Lunk's a hero. Okay, got our bracers. Uh, is Lunk? Oh man, it's annoying. Lunk's not gonna help us get our stuff we need, is he? That's fine. Okay, so I'm still waiting on our group here. Oh man, now we got a healer and we lost our tank. Sad times. Nice. Okay. Let's loot this. Here we go. Ah, yes, there we go. That classic Undead Strat artwork. Reset. Destroy the Ziggurats. Okay. Yes, this looks familiar. We're going in the back entrance here. Let's, uh, find a vile trap on high water. Easy quest. Oh my gosh. We're just going in hard on this. Alright, I want to drop my imps for some AoE fun. There we go. Look at that. Look at all that damage I just hit. I'm leading the pack here now. Oh, that's dropping very rapidly. <laughs> Magistrate Barth Barthalos. This guy is the guy that I was mentioning in the last episode. That gives you a key, or two episodes ago. That will give you a key that lets you enter through that gate back there. You can actually enter through the service entrance gate without that key. Um, I think rogues could lockpick it, maybe. But, yeah, this is the guy that will give you the key, so... Looks like we're about to get it. Someone leveled up. It's exciting. Royal tri Tribunal Cloak. That's probably an upgrade. We'll take it. Okay, there's a bunch of quests over here somewhere. How do I get these quests? They're in the house. There's a lot of quests. Right, are they in here? Yes. How am I gonna miss? This is a whole new quest hub. This was never here before. All these people are in here. Hello. Be careful. Obtain Banshee's essences. Kill Rivendare. You need something. Slaughter Ramstein. Ramstein is always there. Some Swordsmith. That's a new boss. Um. Wow. Okay. So we have a bunch of quests. I wish I had mounted up before and like and vendored off all this junk before I came in here. Uh, whoops. Kind of regret that. Okay. So that guy's not even Bar Barthalos or whatever. Is not even mentioned on. The map, he's so insignificant. Ah, uh, here we go. Strat home holy water. Let's get some. Nice. Projector complete. Sometimes those crates would like just dump out mobs. They're like, well, bag space rip. Um, they would dump out little like tiny baby scarabs that would pop out instead. Those were super terrifying. Uh, let's do some more AoE fun. Okay, so. Baroness, Anas, yeah, okay. Let's uh, soulstone our healer. And Baroness Anastari, she was cool because she would like mind control people sometimes. She had a chance to mind control people. And I don't see her doing that right now, but we'll see if that happens. The mind control is really fun. She would like basically, I think she would disappear and then take over someone, and then that person would eventually, would like, she would like drop out, and that person, and then you could actually attack her again. But she was glitchy, and sometimes it would like literally glitch out, 
And that was really bad. There's a locked chest back there. Can't get that. That's sad. I think I've finished like all my quests in here already. If you look at the I'm not really paying close attention, but it looks like they're all done. Except for killing the bad guys. Wow. Smoked him. Uh, this used to be a quest. There was a quest involved here somewhere, but I'm, I don't remember what it was now, but I... Um, oh, that's what it is. That's right. There's a crystal... Is that really it? I don't know if that's it. I don't remember. Anyway, I guess we're going to go this way to Nerubicon. Uh, yes. This looks so much the same. I was actually kind of hoping that we would see um, a bunch of, like, living characters over here. I thought it'd be kind of cool if they were like if there's like they flipped right like this became live strat and then was dead strat. I just got super silence. That's gross. All right, AOE time. There we go. Man, that's so nice. The hand of gold on. That's the way to do it. Like definitely dropping that down on people is what I need to be doing at the beginning of these fights. Uh, Nerubicon was never like Nerub and Con, I guess, it was never much of a fight. Like it was kind of an easy fight. It's not really that interesting. I don't really remember any details. I think you might web people. Maybe. That was like the extent of it. I probably should have pulled this. That's fine. Whatever. We'll send our dread stalkers over here. Um, yeah, I was like, I'm gonna die. No, I'm fine. He does have a lot of health, though. I mean, he seems like a lot of health to me, but... I'm also like the lowest DPS in our group by far, so I'm kind of scrubbed here DPS, you know. Yeah, this guy's not, this guy was never an interesting fight. I don't remember ever really giving a crap about him. Like, he was always, he had a very low chance of dropping some gear that was, like, decent for rogues. And that's, like, all I ever cared about. But he was, broadly speaking, just kind of a boring mob. Um, these guys are pushovers, though. And I think just killing these guys satisfies the quest requirement. Oh yeah, this little thing. Those little boxes, those were involved in some quest. Man, I wish I could remember the names of these quests better, but I just... Yeah, it's just beyond my capacity. Oh, Fang Drip Runners. Those are like a strict upgrade, pretty much. I lose two haste, but gain like everything else. Crimson Cannon, I think that's the... Uh, how do I get it through here? Crimson Cannon, I think, is the one from the Cannonball Cannon Master Willy, Wily, or whatever. I think that's that. Which reminds me, I have Rhea's Last Egg to cast. Let's cast it on Malachi the Pallet. Normally, I would, honestly, what used to be quicker was going killing Nerubican, then killing Baroness, then going this way to kill Malachi. That was usually the ideal way to run through here. I am silenced the end. So. Um, we're, we're doing like a route that I'm not familiar with going in this direction. I think these these things are silencing us. Yeah, definitely, I think it's those. I mean, these mobs all look the same. I mean, nothing here really stands out as a lot different. The only major difference is that we're here, at, I'm here at level 50. What's our group? 5649, yeah. Now, like, that. let's summon Rhea's child. She's target not in line of sight. That's annoying. Okay, there we go. Now she's gonna use it then. Apparently, I was not in line of sight that whole time. The stairs were just like wrecking us. Well, um, that guy just like massively healed. Ah, he's like draining life. Interesting. We need to interrupt him, I guess. Oh well. What is out DPS him? Okay, we're gonna complete the disable the ziggurats quest pretty much now. Uh, once we kill these last few in here, these guys are so easy to kill. And all done. Quest complete. Nice. Nine abominations defeated. Okay, we can do that. The slaughterhouse. The abominations. I guess they're still here. I was gonna. I was wondering if they were still here in a big pack or not, but. Looks like they are. Ooh, can I get another... I wonder if they only have holy waters in here now. 
These used to not always be holy water, so there was a chance, like I said, that like little baby scarabs would pop out and attack you. There was also a chance that um, I think like a poison cloud could pop out and just like poison you if you were standing in it. Um, I don't remember what else was in there. Sometimes I think there was like just food. It definitely was not always holy water. Like at the moment, we've hit a lot of holy water, which has been like surprising to me, but maybe that's not surprising anymore. That magistrate that we killed at the beginning could sometimes spawn in that corner over there. Man, we would never pull... This was a tough event in vanilla. This was an event that was... I mean, it was seriously a tough event. We would definitely never, ever, ever pull this many abominations in vanilla. You would get wrecked. Like, they are way too dangerous. And it, normally, this event, what would happen is the gate behind you would close back there, and you get locked in here. And these abominations would, um, one by one, aggro into you, and like they would just like patrol over here one by one. And usually they were hard enough to kill, and they summon these little slimes, that by the time you actually killed one, you were like, barely ready for the next one. Like, it was not... These were like pushovers. Ramstein should be summoned now, right? Yep, there he is. Uh, so that's crazy how much it's changed. Uh, let's summon our Doom Guard. That seems fun. Now, the Holy Water is like almost a necessity if you're not well geared. Uh, if you're in like raid gear, like Molten Core, Blackwing Lair stuff, then it's no big deal. But for Baron Rivendare, who looks like we're actually fighting Lord Arius Rivendare, which is not Baron Rivendare. Who is Timmy the Cruel coming out? What's going on over here? I remember these gates opening. So Tim of the Cruel shouldn't have been here anyway, but I thought one of those quests mentioned him. Ooh, I almost got stuck there. Blackguard Sentry yells. Uh, yes, I think I remember these guys, the elites coming out. I remember the non-elites charging up from that side and these elites coming out, yeah. So this would always like group up and be like, okay, get ready to run in, guys. And then we'd all like, get ready to run in, and that's kind of how it worked. Uh, okay, Baron Rivendare himself. Wow, this guy's a huge pushover. Holy water, go! Oh yeah, so good. What does it actually do now? Yeah, so that's where you would need holy water. Like, holy water, you needed to kill those summons, because they were so dangerous. That was incredibly easy, actually. Um, like, super easy. No, that, that was actually a tough fight, normally. I mean, like, it really was, like... Just because of all the little ads you would summon, you really needed, like... Ooh, that's a huge upgrade. And that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that was not an easy boss to kill normally. Complete quest. I have so many quests to turn in, oh my gosh. Uh... Can I help you? Complete quest. Hey there. Farewell. Complete quest. <laughs> and a couple more. But yeah, so that was a tough final fight normally. This whole area is new, by the way. All these guys come out here, they did the portal, all this stuff is not. That's all new stuff. Um, <laughs> there's a shred home supply crate. Those crates would also have things back here that are sometimes useful. Oh, there's a lot of holy water, okay. I think that's it. What is this portal? Oh. Huh. Anyway. That. Man, that goes fast. Hmm. So I don't know, I, I guess I don't know the story, but Baron Rivendare is obviously not around anymore, so rest in peace Baron Rivendare. Baron Rivendare by far had one of the best drops in pre-raid WoW, uh, because he could drop a, um, why is there 110 out here, it's crazy. Because he had a chance to drop a mount, like an epic speed mount. And that mount, I mean, it was literally like a 1 in... I think it's like a 1 in 1,000 chance. It was a 0.1% drop rate or something, I believe. Super low drop rate. I need to mount up real quick. But man, getting an epic mount for free is insane. Uh, it's not so much that the mount itself was worth a lot, but just there's such a cool mount. The mount itself was only worth like 100 gold. It was the, the writing training that was actually the expensive part. Um, man, it was such an awesome thing to pick up, and super rare. 
I'm just rendering off a few things here. And I don't really need anymore. Okay. So where's Lunk? Is he coming back? Not. May your days be long and your hardships few. Like I feel like he's gone now because of us porting out. So I could at least soul stone myself be gonna be good and get a demon. Yeah, so we're just gonna do a little more grinding out here, a couple of these quests. Oh, we got our lookout. Nice. Our spyglass rather. Um yeah, we'll do a few quests here, and then we'll move down to Searing Gorge. We're level 51, so we're already, like, not Searing Gorge, Burning Steps. We're already, like, I mean, gosh, this zone is really, we're already at the max of Searing Gorge, and Burning Steps practically through there, too. I mean, maybe, I almost consider just, like, running through here and just going down to, like, Swamp of Sorrows, and just Swamp of Sorrows and Blastlands, and then Blastlands is where we'll go into, uh... Burning Crusade, right? So it's, it's actually we're pretty we're on a good path, I think, right now. I think it's the way to do it. I think I'm pretty happy with the route we're taking. Alright. Well, those infernos. That was a fast respawn. How did you guys just see that? I don't know, maybe it's just a different spawn, but it seemed really fast. <laughs> I like how it was like stupidly fast. Oh well. I'll take it. Yeah, I don't know if Lunk's gonna come back or not, but as it stands, he's gone, and that's that means we can't finish his quest, so... I, so I, I feel like there is some sort of weird glitchiness. What is that? Apparently they explode. I didn't know that. So, there is some, like, weird sort of glitchiness with having, like, a summoned mob for a quest, and then porting into an instance. I don't know if that's... if I'm right or not, but it sort of feels like... What if I click this? Maybe now he'll, like, summon? I don't know. Like, maybe now it's like, oh, you're interested in that quest, and it'll make him respawn. <laughs> I don't know. Something's a little bit weird about having summoned mobs and going in instances. Like, when we were in Zolfarok last episode, I really feel like the Dark Iron Dwarves, like, or not Dark Iron Dwarves, the Lost Vikings, one of those, like, came in with us. They were, like, in the instance with us. And that seemed weird. And then it, like, died and never came back. Well, it died and never came back in the instance, but then, like, when we zoned out, it came back. Hmm. So I haven't quite figured it out. <clears throat> oh, man, that's, like, I, like, frog my throat. I haven't quite figured it out, but it, it definitely feels like there's some some sort of weirdness going on in summon mobs and instances and stuff. Uh, uh let's... So I thought the steam smiths would only drop the smithing tier two year, two year, and there's a lookout that would drop the spyglass. But I just realized that that guy dropped the other thing. So that's interesting. It's like backwards from what I expected. Okay, so now I need um, to fill more furnaces and or for, fill more flasks, I should say. Kill a few more war golems. So I guess our next instance will probably be Blackrock. Death's detention block. Man, I could, I feel like we could just like run instances to level fifty eight at this point. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that, but I feel like they give us so much experience. You really could just run a lot of instances out of range. There we go. You gotta be really close to that guy to fill that flask. Like I mean, basically melee range. That explosion from those things is kind of cool looking. A little bit freaky the first time I saw it, I was like, what is that? But now I know. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm giving up on putting those guys to sleep. I guess I could read the quest, it might tell me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything that tells me I can summon them, so... I can't believe we're already 51. I mean, what is our playtime? So, for context, um, at this point, roughly level 45 is, is I've, I've been told, is roughly halfway to 60 in vanilla well, in terms of experience gain. And we would probably be at about five days, I'd say four to five days played. Maybe three to five days if you're pretty fast. Um, at this point. Yeah, I'd say roughly three to five days played. 
Uh, so we're like well ahead of the schedule of what I'm used to. And now I know it's faster. I mean, I know it's way faster. And it has to be, because if, if it took, you know, 10 days played to 60, it would take like 30 days played to like 110 or something. So, I mean, it's it's not a, a exactly, um, it's not a bad thing at all. It, it is an interesting thing, though, you know, to see how much leveling has changed. Um, but yeah, if, if, if leveling was still just as slow, it'd be ridiculous. Now, I don't think it's unreasonable to make leveling still take 10 days played all the way to level 110. But yeah, it's obviously much faster. And it's also kind of crazy. I get comments on YouTube and people are like, why aren't you using heirlooms? Like, it's going to take too long. It's going to take so long to level. Um, I don't see that a lot, but once in a while I'll see that kind of comment. I see a lot of people ask, why am I using heirlooms? Um, I see a, a subset of those people saying, are asking, are saying that it's going to take too long to level. It would take a long time to level without heirlooms. And yeah, like in, if, you, if you think about what I've done, like I've never leveled from 0 to 100 or 110 in any WoW past the Burning Crusade. So um, to me, this is still like extremely fast leveling. I can't even imagine how much faster it would be if I had uh, heirlooms on. I guess it would be you know, anywhere from 2 to 10 times faster. So, you know. It's, it's kind of crazy leveling as is, for me. Um, I wouldn't mind running through and do like a oh, zero level 1 to 110 heirloom run someday. But for now, I'm happy doing this. Watch your back. Okay, we're starting to turn in all of our quests here. here they are. Curse these fat fingers, yeah. He that don't quit. Uh, what do we just get? Honor with Warrior Brotherhood. Nice. The Warrior Brotherhood, this guy over here... I think it was this guy. He used to sell things that required your reputation to be pretty high with them to get well, anything from them. Like some recipes and things are really nice to have, especially like fire resistance, um, blacksmithing recipes. That's a new quest. There's a few new quests here. Twilight colors, okay. I don't know if I want to do all these quests or not. It's very possible I may, I may wrap them up, but then I, I don't know, just think about it. Okay, so what quest do we have now? Twilight Colors. Okay, so these guys did always exist over here. Um, one of the quests for this was to... You know what? I am gonna ditch this quest. Because I'm not going to go back to Dharamal anytime soon. And I'm just going to have that quest forever otherwise. So I'm just going to ditch it. There was a quest over here. There was something like... Something related to Ragnaros. There was like a, an elite mob. There were These were all elite over here, first of all. And you would kill them and they would give you a chance to drop... They would have a chance to drop... Um, it's like an Eye of Ragnaros or Hand of Ragnaros or something. Like there's some sort of symbol of Ragnaros that was needed for quests. Uh... That guy looks cool. Minister Finister. So I need to kill this guy actually for quest. He's a name of all I, I was like, that's a really cool, like, just random mob out here. But now I get it. He's actually, like, an important mob. Minister Finister, huh? Okay. And then there was always, like, an escort quest over here, right? Or something you could free some mob over here. But, yeah, I don't quite remember. This was a tough area. This was not... You just don't have to stroll into this area. Okay, here is Tail. I wish to hear your tale. As a young knight off in Darkshore... Uh, okay, I'm gonna work my prayer alone. Is this person joining the Twilight Hammer? Oh yeah, this fire does a ton of damage. And I remember, like, it does, like, a lot of damage. I always remember it was doing 10% of damage. Like, it's, like, normal lava. Good luck, friend. And I was... Yeah, our pet just died. Whoops. Okay. Find and read the prayer to a loon. Okay. Let's go ahead and kill this. Oh, let's, uh... Summon demon. The prayer to a loon. Looks like it's... I'm gonna kill that, that random mob there. It's pointless. Uh, not pointless, but we'll get the colors anyway, getting our way to the tri... 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 Petrici. Yeah. 
We'll have to clear quite a few mobs to get to the Trap Petrosy. So, no reason to kill that one that's out of the way. I will probably call it a day here in just a moment, by the way. I actually don't know if I'll finish this quest, I'm stuck in at the time. Let's head down here real quick. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. I was like, yeah, that's gonna hurt. I'm gonna heal up. Oh. Yes, these were not easy mobs. I, I remember frequently having to group up to complete these quests. Oh, that's the Predator Balloon. It's easy to find. And I'm quite happy to see that they're a little bit easier now. Predator Balloon. Good quest. Ah, nice. Got that uh, super fortitude buff. Cool. So I guess I'm gonna have to clear my way into here in order to find uh, or to find the rest of these three parts that I need. Let's summon some demons. And what else would I do as a demon demonology warlock, right? It's like let's summon some demons. Like saying I'm a stand-up comedian and I'm gonna tell a joke or something. Huh. Kind of in it. I'm, I'm, like, I'm considering logging out in here, it's kind of a scary area to log out. Like, you know, a little terrifying, like, kind of surrounded by mobs. A little densely populated. Let's go this way. I've never really been in this cave deep, because it was such a hard area to fight through. That you generally wouldn't, you wouldn't come in here. Like, it was just too, too much stuff. And there were high level elites, and you know, normally didn't need to. There, I, to my knowledge, there weren't a lot of quests in this area. Let's go this way. There we go. Minister Ethereal. I knew there would be one here somewhere. I'll give you another one. I don't know where the third one is, but we'll find him. Soon. Hopefully. It's quite a mess to get through here. Uh, it looks like we have to go kind of up and around. We can make that happen. Yeah, I, I've never been in this cave. Ever. Like, it was just, uh high level elites and never went in here because it was far too difficult to even have a chance of clearing through this mess, especially solo. Like if you had people with you, it's one thing maybe, but nope, definitely not uh, solo. But there's just never a reason to as far as I recall, like I really don't remember there being any quests in here. Um, there's that one that I mentioned, the, the Ragnaros thing you had to get, and that was something you could kill. The dropper was pretty good. So usually like the first mob you would kill outside would drop it, or first couple of mobs. Um, yeah. So I never had to come in here, thankfully. <laughs> but now of course it's much much easier. And we're very close to level 52. We'll probably hit that as soon as we turn in a couple of these quests from here. So and next time we'll hit 52 pretty much right away. Probably in the first like 10-15 minutes of the episode. And hopefully we'll run Blackrock Deaths, the first part of it. Which would be kind of cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to running hopefully all of Blackrock Depths, but I don't know. Now that it's split up, which makes sense, because unless the Blackrock Depths it was a mess, it was a huge instance to run all together. It would take us three hours. So seeing it split into at least two parts is probably for the best. Anyway, I'm just going to log out in the corner over here, and then actually, let's go around this side. Next time, we'll go to that back corner of the cave over here, and I think that back corner, if we go around that way, we'll find the third part that we need for our quest. And that will be uh, the end of this quest. Then we'll bail out of here and probably move down to burning steps pretty quickly. I'm just trying to find a good spot to log out at. Let's drop this and kill that. So it's good to find a nice, safe spot to log out. What's that? Shaman. Oh, Master Kyubi, that's the last one we need. Let's, let's just go around here and get that real quick. Because we're like right here. I was hoping this person would be here. I'm not sure, but like, if they're not here, I don't know where they're going to be at, so I'm hoping they're there. And it's looking pretty much like I was right. So, I mean, there wasn't that many other places it could have been the mob, you know, but. Okay. I probably should have my pets auto attack, to be honest. Like, all my demons, I can call them pets, they're really demons, you know, I should buy them auto attack. All done, nice. Okay, out we go. <laughs> Dark sprint, I still love this, it's so useful. Like, I, I seriously love being able to sprint every now and then, although I wish 
it was as good as normal sprint. I think it's a little, it's like 10 seconds out of 15. It's only 40% instead of, I think, 60% for a sprint for a rogue. But, you know, kind of everything. Alright, I love this guy would stop whacking me so I could mount up. God. I'm just gonna kill these mobs. I gotta be faster just to kill them than to run from them at this point. Seriously, so much faster, especially with the AoE on that uh, hand of Gul'dan. So, okay. I'm gonna go turn this in, change my mind. I was gonna log out in there, but I'm like, whatever. What's another minute? Um, we'll go turn in this quest. Oh, I guess we need to actually merge these. There we go. Go turn in these quests. I was like, why is there only one quest to turn in? And, uh, turn them both in and then we'll see what's next, but then we'll definitely be wrapping here. Okay. Twilight colors. Twilight tri pet tri petrocene. Speak with Mountain Lord Rendan at Iron Summit. Okay. You got my And Twilight Colors. good. Okay, and Iron Summit is down there. So we can take a flight. Watch your back. That's convenient. I'm um, so glad we had that flight point. I am going to give up on this quest. I wanted to do it, but like he's not back, so I don't know. I, I don't really care that much, I guess, to like, try and figure out how to get him to resummon. But we'll let him do his thing, uh, wherever he's at, <laughs> just off by himself. And yeah, I mean, I guess that's kind of it. Where, where's our question in? Looks like it's up, way up there. Okay, way, way up there. Scooting on up. Huh, this is an inn here. That's cool. It's like to rested XP. Okay, siege. Slay marksman. Set them ablaze. This is this is the one that I saw them at the four towers. They move the quest over here, okay? They build a better bullet. Thing two hundred darker and bullets. How many do I have? Two? Huh. The torch of retribution looks cool by the way. Oh yeah, you used to have to equip it, I think. Maybe? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh no, it's a different quest. Anyway, we're at an inn now. That's actually really useful. I'm glad I logged out here. Look at this happy dancer. <laughs> I didn't know that was an inn. I would never guess this is an inn. It's like the only outdoor inn I've ever seen, so that's crazy. Things you, the things you learn. Anyway, uh, that is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.